And here comes round three. Bunch of Broodlords, bunch of Ultras, bunch of Roaches, and a bunch of Corruptors. So we're going to send, I think it's four Broodlords that I used against this group of Ingrates. Um, carriers here, so unsurprisingly we're going to send our Corruptors. And then the Ultras and the Roaches and a Broodlord will be going around here. And what I like to do is kind of confuse some of the uh, Archons here and it make them attack the Broodlord. And you kind of want to lure everybody in. Lure the Zealots in there. Lure the Archons. Um, these Broodlords surprisingly can handle everything on their own without taking any kind of damage. What you want to do is you want to make sure you take out one Immortal first um, because they do really kill Broodlings quickly. But after that, Stalkers go down pretty easily. Uh, right, the Infester is going to head this way as well. Pull off a couple fungals. And the Corruptors are going to, uh, what is it called, corrupt now? Corruption? They're going to corrupt the carriers and make sure that uh, they don't get much uh, to do off. So, uh, as long as we get these Roaches in position to kite the Zealots, and the Ultras will remain back here. And the Infester, just if we need it. But he should be in range here. And we're going to hold position here. And uh, we're going to tell it, as soon as the attack begins, to target an Archon to make them stay around. And even though the Broodlings will die quickly, it'll delay them just a little bit. Because as soon as we kill these Zealots, everything else will fall. So let's get started with the Broodlords here, shall we? And what we want to do is we want to attack them. And since the Stalker actually got in range, we want to make sure we kill him first. And then back to an Immortal. As soon as we kill one Immortal, everything will fall. So that Immortal's dead, we want to kill the Stalker that's closest and then go to the next closest stalker. And then we want to go to more stalkers because even though the immortal will kill him, he's still going to get some damage. And we'll just continue to kill him at, at our leisure here. Root Lords will just continue to wreak havoc, and that's the proper usage. HG and Husky, I'm looking at you. It's not wreck havoc. How stupid that sounds. Um, causing chaos is another phrase I like to use, but. Again, poof, stalker go boom, and no losses. Uh, like I said, round two was horrific for me. And we want you to attack him. Sad, but assuming I don't lose three corruptors, it won't matter. And I'm going to lose one here, unfortunately. And I'm probably going to lose this one, no. Ugh, I lost a uh, Corruptor for no reason. Sad. But, success. So, there is for the Swarm Challenge Mission number three, gold. Again, round two was stupid. Uh, if you burrow micro a little bit better, you won't lose the roaches. Um, round three, uh, I just wasn't paying attention, unfortunately. So, there you go. Um, hopefully, the second round will be up and coming as well. We shall see. So, until then, good luck.